Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is the difference between reapportionment and redistricting? Every 10 years, the U.S. conducts a census to count its population. This data is crucial for two key processes, reapportionment and redistricting. But what do these terms mean, and how do they differ? Reapportionment refers to the allocation of seats in the House of Representatives. The total number of seats, 435, remains constant. Based on population changes, seats are redistributed among the states. This ensures each state has representation proportional to its population. Redistricting, on the other hand, involves redrawing the boundaries of electoral districts within states. This process ensures districts have roughly equal populations. Redistricting occurs after reapportionment to reflect population shifts within states. NN both processes aim to ensure fair and equal representation. Reapportionment affects the number of representatives each state gets. Redistricting determines the geographic boundaries of each district. Reapportionment is a federal responsibility, managed by the Census Bureau. Redistricting is handled by state governments, often leading to political debates. States may use independent commissions or legislative bodies for redistricting. Understanding these processes helps us appreciate the importance of the census. It ensures our democratic system remains fair and representative. So next time you hear these terms, you'll know exactly what they mean and why they matter. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.